In Illustrator CS5, we enhanced a lot of stroke-related functionality, um, allowing you to really control the appearance of strokes much better. Together, this set of features is called Beautiful Strokes. I'm just going to show you a few aspects of Beautiful Strokes today. So I'm going to start, with, start out with dashing adjustment. Let's take a look at this uh, taco truck here, which has a really bright logo on its side, made up of yellow lettering on a pink background with these green dashed lines. But the problem is that the green dashes are not quite falling exactly where we want them on this artwork. They're sort of breaking up at the corners and not exactly placing, positioning where we want. So if you're familiar with uh, dash controls, you can imagine how difficult this would be to fix in Illustrator. Well, what we've got today now is a new control in the stroke panel called dash adjustment. If I simply click this to turn it on, you'll see that Illustrator automatically takes care of this for me, calculating each of the paths exactly where the dashes should fall to make them look good all the way across in very little effort by me. The other thing we're going to look at is called variable width strokes. So Illustrator has always had the ability to assign the width of a stroke. You can take an object like this and you can set it to be thin or thick kind of uh, stroke appearance. But now you can actually set a uh, variation along the path so that it gets wider and narrower in different areas. If I go into outline view, you'll see that these three faces are all exactly the same paths, but they look much different based on the appearance of the stroke. So this one up here actually has what we call a width profile applied to it. There are a number of width profiles built into the application, as you can see here. Or you can go customize and create your own width profiles using the width tool. So if I select the width tool here, you can see that I can just click on any path and take it and start dragging to make parts of it fatter or narrower. And I can even make asymmetrical widths by holding down the Option key and clicking and dragging. So I can create really complex appearance. It's still just a single path with a single stroke applied to it. And once I'm happy with that result, I can save it up here in my pro width profile panel and apply it to any other artwork. There are a number of additional enhancements in beautiful strokes, such as arrowhead adjustments and the ability to scale art brushes uh, in a more regular fashion. But that's all we have time for today.